Welcome to day five of my vlogmas. Here we go. <clears throat> Water. So I am doing the 12 days of vlogmas. I know a lot of people. Ooh. I know a lot of people are doing um, full on vlogmas, which is every day, but I'm just doing 12 days in case you weren't aware. So this is my day five. Well, I think in the world of vlogmas, it's te technically day seven. Don't know, this is my fifth one. Um, I've just come back from work. Well, actually I got back from work about an hour or so ago. Went and had a little snack and I am ready now to get on with some Marco Looks work. So I have a commission. I've got two commissions left. I've got one commission done yesterday, which you would have seen in Vlogmas day four. Uh, that's all uh, been sent to the printers and I'm just waiting to get that back and I'm gonna send it to my lovely customer. Um, so I need to crack on with another commission, which shouldn't take me that long actually. So I'm gonna do that um, now and I'm gonna show you me get on with it and, and, and doing that, um, which is gonna be lovely. So yeah, let's, let's, let's crack on with that. I just need to tell you something really funny. I'm such an idiot. So I use <laughs> I use this tripod when I'm filming. Um, sorry if the quality of the camera has just suddenly dipped because I'm actually using my front camera so I can, I know what I'm showing you. Anyway, um, I usually use this tripod when I'm filming and so I try to use my, the back camera on my phone because it's a better quality. And um, <laughs> when I do it, I clasp, I clamp it into here so the screen is this way. So the whole back of the camera is here, back of the phone is here. So I try and use the phone with this massive bit of plastic in the way. And it's only dawned on me today that I can actually clip it around the other way and I'll have access to the whole screen and be able to film from the back of my phone that way. Does that make sense? It's really hard to show you because I'm holding my camera device. Um, but what an idiot. I was such an idiot. Oh, uh, anyway. Okay, I think I need your help. Um, I am in a bit of a quandary about my shop. Psst. I've got an Etsy shop and a website, marcolux.com. Um, normally, around this time of year, Christmas time, I keep the shops open and I send out to my mailing list and across socials, um, when I'm going to be posting my last dates to order before Christmas, which basically is kind of a guaranteed time when someone could order with me and I'll be able to ship their order off and they'll get it in time for Christmas. Uh, it's a really hard one to call because obviously once I once you post something, it's in the hands of the courier or Royal Mail or whoever is your deliverer uh, company. So yeah, it's a bit, of a bit of a strange one, but I have said this year that if you order by Monday the 13th of December, which is next Monday, then it is your best chance, to, if you're in the UK this is, this is your best chance to place an order with me and for me to get it to you for, before Christmas. Um, but of course I can do orders after that as well, but it just means there's no like guarantee. Um, it just gets a bit harder, it gets a bit trickier, and then that's kind of when pressure's start to slip in and worry and concern that I'm not doing a good enough job. All those all those sort of feelings that you just don't really want to be feeling, especially this time of year because there's enough stress going on as it is. Um, and 
I'm wondering if I should close my shops. That is my pickle. And that's what I'm in a pickle about. Um, so I've never closed my shops before over, like over the Christmas period. I usually leave them open. If I get orders, I try and ship them. Into, I try and get them shipped, and um, we just see what happens. And I think there's a, like a mutual understanding that if someone orders me on Christmas Eve, they're not going to get it for Christmas, and so they're probably not super precious about getting it as soon as they can, and they understand that there's bank holidays and things like that in the way. But I don't know. I do know. So I am, I'm just looking at my calendar. This is last year's calendar. Um, I've I'm sure I've told you this before, but I've been listening to Brené Brown's podcast a lot with Fern Cotton called The Happy Place. And I'll, I'll add a link to it in the, into the, in the description so you can click on it. I've listened to it six or seven times now. Um, you know when you feel like you're, you need answers and you feel like people are saying things that kind of get towards those answers a little bit for you. Um, Brene Brown just makes so much sense when she talks about stress and overwhelm. And I don't feel overwhelmed. I don't feel overwhelmed, but I feel that I could soon get there. And she talks a lot about, well, she talked a bit, <laughs> about the antidote of overwhelm is nothingness. And that's why I've created Restmas. Um, well, I didn't know that's why I created Restmas because I actually created Restmas this time last year. But this is what it's all about. So, I'm really getting into the idea of this nothingness, which makes me think I need to close my shops. So I'm thinking of closing them um, kind of Monday the 20th of December. Uh, and if I, if I send an email to my mailing list and if I just share it and talk about it on Instagram and also Facebook, because I've got quite a lot of, um, I get quite a lot of sales through Facebook. I know a lot of other micro businesses and indeed makers that kind of dismiss Facebook and that's completely fair enough because they know their audiences uh, better than me, know who their audiences are. Um, but yeah, a lot of my audience is on Facebook. Anyway, that's kind of relevant really. Um, so yeah, so I'm making that one on there saying I'm gonna close them on the 20th. But then um, I'm gonna probably open them again, open the shop on, what am I doing? Oh, this is, this is this is this year's calendar. So I need my new calendar. Let me just grab that. Uh, this is next year's calendar. Ah. So, this is my copy. I always like to keep my own copy in my calendar because there's nothing more satisfying than sitting at your desk, looking up for the date and it's on your calendar. It's very satisfying. Okay, so closing the shop, both shops, Etsy and Marco Looks. Although actually I've got two Etsy shops, but one of them, I'm, tr I'm trying to wind it down a little bit, but I still get sales on it. Anyway, um, closing shops on 20th of December, but then reopening again on either Friday the 7th of January or Monday the 10th of January. Because I'm back to work on the 4th of January and that's going to take out three days of that week. So I don't really want to open the shop again on Monday the 3rd of January, just in case I get a bunch of orders and I'm working for three days that week. I think that's, I don't think that's the sort of way I want to begin my 2022 and how, me, how I mean to go on, if that makes sense. I want to go into 2022 feeling good, feeling calm, feeling ready, feeling empowered, feeling in control of my business. And I think if I open on the 3rd of January, I think I might be cutting it a bit fine. Maybe that's my decision done. I've just decided. So I'm going to open. I just need to work out if I'm going to do it on the 7th or the 10th. Um, and I've decided I'm going to do a January sale. Uh, because I have quite a lot of stock that I would really like to, I would like to to sell. <laughs> um, some old stock that's over a year old now. Um, I put some of it in. Some of it was a little bit damaged actually, and I put some of it in Super Second Saturday, which I did in October. Um, so I'm thinking of doing another sale, but I think I might just offer it only to the people on my mailing list and send them a, a code to get into my website. Uh, I just need to work out the technicalities of that. And so I could offer it to them on the 7th, 
like a private private sale launch and then open it properly on the 10th of January to everybody. Hmm. I think that might be what I'm going to do. I want a good chunk of time and that would be not three weeks. And I'm just looking, looking at my calendar because I've got that Saturday last year. That would give me a good solid two weeks of nothingness which right now feels very, very welcome and very exciting and enticing. Uh, and I could use that two weeks to either completely wind down or maybe do a little bit of kind of extra, extra study on my business. And by extra study, what I'm really meaning is um, Indie Roller. Because I'm a member of Indie Roller and we have like the handbook and there's also a planner that's coming out to all of, our, all of us in the membership. So I could use a couple of days just to unadulteratedly work through those and know that I'm not gonna have any orders coming in. I don't need to think about my websites. Um, I can just crack on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. It feels kind of scary though, closing the shops. I did it when I went on holiday earlier this year and yeah, I kind of had to. Um, but it feels to me like a risky strategy to do that when I um, when I'm here and I could fulfill an order. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think we're gonna close. What do you think? If you've got any thoughts, I would really, really love your thoughts. Because when you're, when you're on your own, in your little micro business, um, doing your own thing, making your own decisions, colleagues are really handy. I miss having colleagues just to sound things out. So if you've got any thoughts on this, <laughs> please put them in the comments and let me know. Um, I need your help. What do you th what do you think? Is it a crazy idea to close? Uh, uh, okay. I'm 90% decided I'm going to close for those two weeks. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs>just me quickly before I actually properly go go uh, I just want to thank you for um just being here and letting me ramble on about my my worries it means a lot that you're here and I really appreciate your support so thank you thank you okay bye <laughs>